Kenya Commercial Bank's success in the year 2012 was driven by three massive growth, increased revenues, tight cost management, and improved efficiencies. The bank's net interest income went up by 28% from 23.9 billion Kenya shillings in 2011 to 30.6 billion shillings in 2012, while foreign exchange income and fees and commissions contributed to 3.7 billion shillings. Overall, the group has run a program of transformation for a period of two or three years, and that program is continuing even today. If you look at the step down, Q4 11 and Q4 12, run about 30% down. Well, in 2011, last quarter, we had 2.3 billion worth of recoveries for specific focus on our customers. And that's an area we continuously aim to improve over time. So if you remove that from last year, 2011, the actual increase quarter to quarter is around about 8%, mm -hmm. and the annual year to year is 34%. Yeah. So, so there, is, there is a strong correlation in terms of like-to-like -like comparison. And it's because underpinned by the growth of performance, not just in Kenya, but also the strong performance in our subsidiaries today, which is 40% up from 2011. Now, when you talk about areas like dividends today, our vision is to solidify and enhance growth in the regions where we are and be open to drive growth in emergent markets. And therefore, we're going to strategy more to retaining more of our cash generation today because we are a growing business. And in an area which I call an epicenter for Eastern Central Africa, we're in a position to take advantage for long-term growth for our shareholders. The key performance highlights are customer deposits up 11% from 259.3 billion Kenya shillings to 288 billion Kenya shillings. Total assets up 11% from 330.7 billion Kenya shillings to 367.4 billion Kenya shillings. Cost to income ratio lowered by 290 BPS, shareholder equity up 20%. Total dividends increased from 5.49 billion Kenya shillings to 5.64 billion Kenya shillings. Net interest income up 28%, international business PBT up 39%. Now, we've done, in the last two years, we came back and looked at different ways of opening our capital raising strategy. So not just looking at coming back for cash calling, but we look at different avenues of raising funds internally generated, but also raising funds through debt, and partially international debt and capital market debt for our business. But I would say that 190 is still around about 46% dividend payout. Our long-term vision is to retain much more cash, but use that to reinvest aggressively in the markets we are in to improve returns to shareholders. And therefore, you should see much higher uh, earnings per share uh, over as we go into the midterm. And that then will follow the dividends, although the payout is much less. So our strategies today is more to look at options beyond the traditional rights issue to come back to raise cash for our growth projection. International businesses, Tanzania, South Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi reported a 39% growth. We see more markets in the midterm, yes. ourselves consolidating the markets where we, we are today, but on a platform on stronger and greater service to our customers, leveraging technology, whether it's mobile or internet, and giving customers a chance to open their opportunities, whether it's the young people, the youth, or the middle class, and because we are a universal bank, we provide solutions to all customers in all the markets that we operate. So that's an area. So it's an area of tremendous growth, taking opportunities or leveraging the opportunities we have in the market as a leading bank. And, and that's really the value of what we contribute as a group. And more efficient. So being able to drive our cost to income ratio to a level which we believe 15% is our target for the midterm. So it's in short transforming KCB from the group, group bank we are today to a great bank able to compete effectively to tier one banks in Africa. Total operating income increased by 19%. And the total operating expenses grew 13%. SCB has run Alikan, a huge, for many years, a training program and talent development for a lot of different levels. From the, We have a very strong graduate training program that comes through, we have management training programs. And because we've been here for long years, over 100 years, we're able to develop over time across the region very strong talent. And that's really the strength of our business today. And that enables us to offer solutions for customers to enhance the level of customer service and satisfaction for the group. That's an area we are very much proud of. We actually, when we go to international businesses to grow, we take our talent from our main business as our leaders in terms of growth and development. So, so that's really a way, otherwise we would never be able to develop our business across where we are in this market. That's an area we are very proud of. We continue putting focus as a group in terms of training and development across all segments, and that's what will be an enabler to kick off our next frontier of growth. 
The bank will continue to control growth in regional economies, the East African integration and new economic frontiers, innovation and technology-driven products, backing financial inclusion and support entrepreneurship development among the youth. It's very exciting, Halikan, when you look at what is happening in our East and Central African mm. markets. I mean, five years ago, this is a great story today. If you look at five years ago, perhaps the bet in terms of the rising income levels, the opportunities for investment, the young generation, and capital coming in. We see the opportunity to provide solutions, financial solutions, and entrepreneurship capability in the markets where we are. So it's not different. The momentum can only be faster and quicker in the mid to longer term. And KCB is there to provide solutions for our customers in this region. So that's an area that we're very passionate and we are very soft in our heart to enable over 120 million people over time to achieve income growth, open their opportunities, and enhance growth for Eastern Central Africa. Well, let me say, Elegant, that as a team behind KCB, we continue running our vision as a bank to be the best business and the best bank across the region. That is our motivation every single day. And we have got customers who, who are satisfied, the customers who we are looking forward to provide enabling solutions. That's really the key, and support from our shareholders. That is the key to be able to drive a great business. The market does follow those kind of sentiments and behavior. But what we do every single day is to enhance our business to a compelling world-class level. Today, with enabling solutions in technology, that is our purpose and mission today as a group. And we continue running that wave this year and the midterm. The rest is really market following us where the group is going.